Writers of the Apocalypse, we welcome you to our weekly show. When you leave a comment competing for the best comment of the week, don't forget to include your account name with all the right capital and lowercase letters so that we can find you and give you your well-earned gold. In this episode, Live Bait, Augur Spin, Master Survivalist, Optimus Mine. Tusk users are usually pretty straightforward. In most cases, their game plan can be explained in three words. I smash stuff. Sometimes, though, they're forced to face a greater challenge. For example, when they run into a target that is positioned in a way that makes it difficult to simply ram them. That's basically the story of Orea Fox. This player found a small ledge that rendered the enemy Tusk completely harmless. And while the rammer tried to figure out a way to push the player off the ledge, a friendly driver came in to help the player deliver some well-deserved justice. What can we say? Sometimes it pays to be a live bait for a little while. Aurea Fox, well played. To be able to eliminate enemies on the other side of the map, you need to master long-range shots. And that's pretty much it. If you want to be good at melee, though, you need to learn how to bend the laws of physics and also master the ancient art of vehicular acrobatics. Here's a quick demonstration by AJLX Amma. The player spent ages circling the target, trying to find an opening, but it was all worth it. One quick spin in the air and the enemy was drilled into oblivion. Beautiful. Here's your hard-earned gold. Congratulations. It's not easy to survive in the wastes. You have to be very quick on the uptake, be able to adapt to ever-changing environment, and most importantly, know how to make full use of all resources and tools at your disposal. Fox Size is certainly really good at the latter. When he found himself in a very bad situation with extremely limited options, he still fought tooth and nail to stay alive. Not only did he use his minigun to knock incoming missiles out of the sky, he also dodged some of them by utilizing the weapon's recoil. That's some real tenacity right there. Box size. Well done. The next player featured on our show decided to make his dream come true and created a huge mecha out of all the scrap he had lying around. It's called Optimus. Any similarity to any existing character is purely coincidental. And thanks to a clever arrangement of hovers and rocket boosters, it can actually move. While still looking like a proper bipedal mecha, it's also pretty damn strong. Is it still cross out or is it already battle tech? Anyway, what a build! Act Bezos, your reward is on its way. <laughs> 